You know, I had my college degree and I had a career and a business and I was doing well for myself. And it all changed because of one night. It's hard. It's really hard to start your life over. But I did, and I'm here. I doubted myself a lot in the beginning, thinking if I was over-exaggerating or maybe I can fix it, and I didn't think it was that, as bad as it was. Abuse victims tend to downplay what's happening to them, and they unfortunately live with abuse much longer than they should, or oftentimes they will go back to a situation that's abusive. He got to me at my lowest point, and it's that whole cycle that you go through, you know, not thinking that anybody else is going to love you and that it is your fault as to why they're doing this to you. People that are in a domestic violence situation, they feel hopeless. And that learned sense of hopelessness that makes them remain in the relationship. It's scary. You don't know what you're going to do. Didn't have a job. I didn't have any money. I didn't have a house to go to. What they have tolerated, what they've accepted, is not acceptable. It should not be tolerated. The Sierra Center for One Safe Place, this building, came out of a tragedy. A father and husband murdered his two daughters and his wife. We didn't have the facilities at the old shelter that she wanted to stay at. She'd come to us before the murders. The board came together and the staff and just said, this can't happen. We need to have a facility where it's light and hopeful and secure. The difference between what it used to be like and what it is now, it's just night and day. First, you got to take the step. Luckily, it took a small handful of individuals in Reading that said, we can do more than what we're currently doing. And we're going to strive for that. And we're going to reach out to the community and see who will partner with us. So we took a leap of faith. And the Shasta County community and our partners, Reading Rancheria, stepped up to help us do that. They gave us $250,000 towards helping us build this building so that we could help victims now. People don't know how to start the conversation about domestic violence or sexual assault. And domestic violence, it doesn't discriminate. It can happen to anyone, regardless of race, sex, religion, nationality, sexual orientation. And so our hope is that we bring it more to the forefront and so people are comfortable talking about it and comfortable going and getting the help that they need. One Safe Place provided healing and food and housing. I came here for counseling and left with so much more. They're here for you from the time you walk in the door and you are a mess and you have no idea what to think, where to go. You don't have any clothes, you don't have any food, you don't have anything. You know, the services here are really, really important to that healing process and stopping the cycle so that it doesn't happen to the next generation. Organizations like One Safe Place give you the resources that you need to become a survivor. I feel like a better mother. I feel like a better friend, a better daughter. I'm most proud of the abuse victims and the help they're getting here. Maybe they aren't my mom or my sister, but they are somebody else's mom. We're all part of a greater family, and I think as we reach beyond our own family and help others, it has a way of not only healing them, but it helps us as well. I now have a great career and a beautiful family that's growing, and I'm proud to speak out and to go share my story. And as long as you can reach that one person, and that one person can reach out for the help that they need, that's all that matters. We're seeing people have the time that they need to heal, to get some of their self-esteem back, take care of legal issues, get therapy going, find jobs, and get housing. You know, it's working. The best part of what we are is a community where we're saying we want to heal our community. I think that the model we've seen in Reading can be cloned and used in other communities. I want people to know wherever they come from that they can come here and get services and they don't have to worry about feeling judgment. You can do it. I was here too and you can make the steps and change. The services are here. You can walk in and you can get all the help you need in one place. So we are one safe place. You can survive and you will make it out a better person and a stronger person.